what happens when you take Lego, combine it with sort of a computer uh, that has to be programmed, and you give kids a challenge that sounds out of this world, literally out of this world, like the International Space Station, even if it's just a mock-up like this one here. And you say to them, you know, you need to design something out of Lego that can go into this site and navigate it. When you press go, it has to find its way. When you press go, it has to find a source of heat and extinguish a flame. When you say go, it has to pull on a cable and rescue someone who's lost in that particular environment. We've done this with kids, and we know that it works wonders. Um, young people take on the roles of team leader, where they have to coordinate a team of four people in problem solving. Everything from designing a logo for your team to designing the robot, programming it, figuring out how to get the sensors to work, and then publishing your findings on a web page. We've done that, and we know that when kids have specific roles to play, that they're accountable to the group, and that the mission is really compelling, amazing things can happen. It's just one of many uh, ways they use project-based learning in order to engage young people to work together to see what's possible when they network together. And I believe the same is true for educators. Uh, when they discover the power of working together as opposed to working behind a closed door in a classroom, incredible things can happen. And today's technology makes it easier than ever for those teachers to collaborate and work together. It's just a shame that we're not so good at it. Uh, our school board recently launched uh, the new Learn 365, Office 365 online environment. Um, and it's leaps and bounds ahead of anything we've had before. And as a teacher who's had the opportunity to work with teachers in that environment to try and help them explore it, I can't wait till we take activities like this one and turn it loose with tools that allow kids to share their learning and thinking with one another on a daily basis as a regular way of thinking and learning within the classroom. It's something we already should be doing. Some of us are, and if you're not, you should be along for the ride.